Well, hey there, Gritty Girl. It's Ruth with BodyByRuth.com. And today I am in Savannah, Georgia in the new Park Riverside District where we're going to be doing a killer fusion workout. We're going to be mixing some cardio intervals with some body rate resistance. Before we get started, make sure you do a nice three to five minute warm up so that you don't pull anything. And then we're going to get going. Are you ready? Enjoy the view. All right, so we're gonna get started with some curtsy lunges. This is actually a good move to activate the legs and to get the blood flow going. I love the nice little barge in the background. So pretty. And while we're looking at the beautiful view, we're going to be sculpting beautiful glutes. Nice job. By the way, we're gonna be going about 40 seconds per exercise and then taking about a 30 second rest in between. And last one, great job. All right, we're going to a nice little interval here. This is three mountain climbers and you're gonna come up and do a big kick. This is outside of the JW Marriott, which is one of their new hotels um, on the Plant Riverside District. It is absolutely killer. They've done a great job of preserving some old architecture and then putting in some really beautiful, um, elegant displays on the inside. It's definitely something you need to see when you get there. All right, moving right along, let's do some side-to-side -side lunges. The side-to-side -side lunge is going to activate the inner thigh, the outer thigh, the glutes. It doesn't hurt to have a pretty view, right? Nice job. If you can, just reach the hand down to the ground. You're going to activate more muscle that way. Just a couple more. Whoop, whoop. Awesome. Okay, so the next move, I'm going to show you how to modify it to start. We're going to do an alternating reverse lunge. But if you want to take it up and do something a little bit more higher impact, pulse for three, explode, and then land on the other leg. So be mindful of keeping your knee in a 90 degree angle here. Get those arms up and over. Big exhale, inhale. Land softly from the ball to the heel. Soft, two, three. Explode, soft, two, three. Explode, soft, two, three. Big arms. Nice job. Last one. Great. Okay, on the river right here, we're going to be doing four plank pike toe touches. And then we're going to jump up towards our hands into a chair right there. Hands to the ground, jump back. Now, if this is too fast, you could slow it down. Or if you can't hold your body weight up with one arm, just do a plank to pike four times. And that's a good way to modify it. This is a great one for stretching the hamstrings, for toning the back, the shoulders, the biceps, the triceps, and of course, the entire core. Love this one, it gets every muscle and we are totally activating and boosting the metabolism. It is awesome sauce. All right, moving right along. We've got a move called hop, hop, squat, but if you need to make it low impact, you're just going to squat side to side. And if you wanna pick it up, two little hops, hop, hop, and then a power move. So it's kind of like agility and then power. Moving laterally, hop, hop, squat, inhale, inhale, exhale, power, right there. Light, light, power. This is in front of a, a beautiful new fountain that they have right down there at the entrance to the new Plant Riverside District. Nice job. Two more. Last one. Great. All right, going back to plank, we're going to do four plank punches and then four rib shots. So we're basically just changing the positioning of our palms. 
punch, 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 and rib shot, rib shot, rib shot, rib shot. This is so great for toning the arms, the back, the abs. Everything is held in beautifully. And I am enjoying a nice newly paved walkway. Doing awesome. Hang in there, keep it up. Way to go. All right, now we're going to be doing some box jumps. If box jumps are just a little bit too hard at the moment, you can for sure just do a deep squat. But I am using one of the stone benches along River Street. It's such a great way to engage the core. I'm being mindful to land on my heels and then take my weight to my toe. And then I'm stepping off so I don't have the impact jumping to the ground. Last one, awesome. All right, so here's another option. Um, you could just do a big, deep squat, stepping forward and back. This would be your low option right here. And then to take it up, we're going to do a broad jump. And then you're going to back pedal. One, two, three, four. And broad jump. And back pedal. Nice. So anything with a big, deep jump is just going to activate a whole lot of muscle and it's going to recruit more energy. And that will help you burn more calories later. I don't think anybody's going to complain about that. Big exhale, jump, and back, back pedal. Big exhale, and back pedal. And jump, and back pedal. Last one. Awesome. Okay, this is hands down one of the hardest little combos. Um, if you need a low option, you're gonna do a deep squat and abduct side to side. But if you consider yourself a badass and you want to take it up a notch, we're going to be doing airborne jacks here. So this absolutely recruits a ton of energy and you are going to feel it. So big inhale and then exhale as you explode. Exhale. Um, I really love how my pants stay up on this because we are doing a big move. And if you need pants that work for you like this, these are the dancer leggings that I am wearing by Savvy. Pretty awesome. Big squat and explode. Great job. Woo! Okay, we're going back to the bench on River Street for some tricep dips. So do eight dips with two feet on the ground. And then if you want to take it up, we're going to do eight with one knee going into the chest. So exhale there, exhale, exhale. So a lot more challenging if you're doing this on one foot, bringing the knee up to the chest. You will notice a big difference in how much your shoulders and triceps are working. Great job. Whoop, whoop. Okay, moving right along. We've got a plyo jack with two jacks. This is outside the new JW Marriott, one of the River Street entrances. So classy, love it. Now I love this plyo squat jack and the two higher jacks, but if that is too much impact for you, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you a low impact version. Definitely engage with a lot here with the, that plyo squat jack and we're getting the heart rate up as well. Big power move. Okay, so if you need a lower option, we're gonna be squatting side to side and then just reach those arms across for four. So a side to side squat and reach those arms across. Four, three, two, one. All right, next up, we're starting off in plank and then we take a huge step up right next to the palm and then rotate your body. So open the chest. Your goal here is to create a straight line from the bottom hand to the top hand. This is such an amazing movement for strength, for flexibility. Love, love, love this one. And open. And open, nice 
nice job. Step, open the chest. Step, open the chest. Step, open. Beautiful. All right, moving right along. We are in a nice little grassy area. Perfect for rainbows. Rainbow, we're gonna start in a down dog and then basically just making a big sweeping motion. Imagine visualizing a rainbow. Your foot's going to start on the outside and sweep up and over and down. This one is amazingly awesome for shoulders, back, biceps, triceps, hips, and obliques. Because you're taking that leg up and over, you really have to engage your obliques on this one. I love the rainbow. And of course, we're going to balance it out on the other side. Now, this little grassy area that I'm on is actually where they do live entertainment up at night. They'll have music, they have um, people that do aerial things on silk, they have jugglers, and a fun little gathering spot for the locals and for tourists alike. But um, how fun is that for them to have like a nice little show each night? We saw it last night and it was really, really nice. And almost there. Great job. We're going to go to this really cool cement wall and we're going to do a little cardio move here. This is the kick, tap, switch. Give me a big kick, tap that foot back, and then hop to switch the other leg in the front. It automatically um, alternates legs for you, which I like. Kick, tap, switch, kick, tap, switch, kick, tap, switch, kick, tap, switch. Amazing, so good. Can you feel it? Nice. I'm all about texture, so I saw this wall and I was like, oh yeah. All right, moving right along. We are doing the Heisman. This is your low option, okay? You're just gonna reach one hand on the knee, one hand on the heel. But if you can pick it up, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Leaning to the side, you're engaging your oblique. Now, if you look on my left, you're gonna see some really fun bendy mirrors. I just think the cool little features that they have all along this new plant side district are so cool. So it's fun just to like, See your reflection in those bendy mirrors. And I love this little alleyway. Way fun. Awesome. All right. Another big power move. We're going to do a bra jump and then a 180 degree hop. So big bra jump. Jump 180 degrees. Now, if you cannot do that 180 degree jump, you could just go back to that bra jump or jump high whatever is good for you. But that little 180 degree jump is great because it really engages the core and the obliques beautifully. Last one, awesome. All right, back to another core move. We're starting with a single leg down dog and then you're gonna bring the knee into the chest and then you're gonna bring it into the elbow. So we get abs, we get the obliques, we get the beautiful stretch for the arms and the hamstrings. Bring that leg up and the center and up and the elbow. Great job. Reach. Awesome, nice little hold. And we're going to balance it out. Let's do the same thing on the other side, starting with that three-legged dog. Bring the knee to the chest and to the elbow. In and to the elbow. Nicely done. I love this one. It really is a great stretch. Plus, you have that strengthening in the upper body. That knee to the elbow is a killer one. Almost there.
All right, guys, we are going to finish it up with a crossover plank push up and four knees into the chest. Crossover plank, push up, four knees. Now I'm on a bench in a really cute little, kind of a little walkway that connects River Street to the older shops along River Street. Um, and it's so well done, so pretty. I love the palms that they planted there. It's just such a nice little spot. You could do this on the ground or you can find a bench like I did to add those push-ups, crossover, and knees. Such a great effective move. All right, so there you go. A really great interval fusion workout along Savannah's Plant Riverside District. I hope you enjoyed the scenery. I hope it motivates you to get moving. If you need some inspiration, be sure to follow me. And if you need some great leggings and super supportive sports bras, I can help you with that too. Here's to helping you love the body you live in. See you guys.